Okay, so we're still working with 2D vectors, and so we have a series of quick little ones here. Uh, so just going to work for this part A. A person pushes a vacuum cleaner with a force of 20, po 20 pounds and an angle of 40 degrees relative to the ground. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of the force and write the vector in vector no notation. Okay, so quick sketch of what we're doing here. We've got a vacuum cleaner, very expertly drawn, obviously. If you can tell what that is, great. Um, but yeah, we've got this vacuum cleaner. So we're pushing it with some sort of force. Uh, that we know is equal to 20 pounds at an angle of 40 degrees and it asks us to find the x component, the y component and then write it in vector notation. And so one of the key things here is to start by drawing what we call a free body diagram. And so to do that I'm going to build an axis So that's my x direction, that's my y direction. And in general, I get to choose which way things go. Um, what makes sense is that I make forward positive x and I make down negative in the y. So my force is actually going to act in this direction. This is going to be f. And this angle, and if you want to double check against it, Remember geometry, if this is 40 degrees, this angle is also 40 degrees. So, um, yeah, what we want to do with these force problems is make sure we draw all the forces, at, try to make it to where everything's from the axis if we can. Um, we want to label the forces. We label this as force F. Um, if we know it, we can go ahead and say that we know this is 20 pounds. All right, and for this particular problem, what we want to do is break it down into fx and fy, which if we remember from our rules in the past of breaking down vectors, that we can use that this is a right triangle, and so that fx is going to be f times the cosine of negative 40 degrees and Fy is going to be F times the sine of negative 40 degrees. So Fx is, if I grab my calculator, of course F is 20, so 20 times cosine negative 40. Again, make sure your calculator is in degrees. I get 15.3 for that direction. And for Fy, I get 20 times the sine of negative 40 degrees. And I get negative 12.9. Units on these are pounds. Don't forget those. These would be pounds force, not pounds mass. So that's the first half of our answer. We got fx and xy. And then remember to write in vector notation. Remember vector notation is the function f or the vector f is the x part times the unit vector i. I should make this minus because it's a negative. Minus well, plus the f y part times the vector j. Turns out it's negative, so I'm gonna have a negative there. negative j direction. I should still include units. And that's question A. So that one was not too painful.